not your pain screening questionnaires fit here. They are in your package as well. I'll we'll go to the next one. I'll put this all in line properly. Yep. So the next one over is the S-LANS. The S-LANS is another one that's in, this is the second one that's in my package of just routine tools that I give. S-LANS uh, stands for the self-report version of the LEADS assessment of neuropathic signs and symptoms, which we mercifully shortened to S-LANS. Um, you can assume that there is also a non-self-report version, which there is, so there's originally just a LANS, LEADS assessment of neuropathic signs and symptoms. This is a self-report version. The nice thing about this scale is they're all just yes-no questions. The patient doesn't have to try and calibrate anything, figure out am I a 1 or a 2 or a 3 or whatever. Yes, I feel this. No, I don't feel this. Seven questions. It takes about a minute to do. The last two actually require them to do something actively, right? Rub or press the area. If you're getting into things like allodynia there, which would be a painful response to something that's not normally painful, like gentle rubbing. Or hyperalgesia, which would be a painful response to something that would normally be painful, but it's an exaggerated response, like pressing. But you, again, you can take a quick look through and see what kinds of things are they endorsing here. Plus, this may be useful as a scale for identifying pain of primarily neuropathic origin. We used to call this a scale for identifying neuropathic pain, but for whatever reason, people have decided, no, that's not quite right. Let's call it something more challenging, pain of primarily neuropathic origin, or popular. But uh, nonetheless, call it what you wish, a score 12 or higher is generally a pretty good indication that there is a neuropathic component to this patient's pain. And if you take a look at the uh, scale itself, you'll see that each yes is scored a little bit differently. Sometimes it's worth one point, sometimes it's three, sometimes it's five. So regardless of how they score yes or no, a score 12 or higher is suggestive of pain of primarily neuropathic origin. Simple little one. The one over is another neuropathic pain screening questionnaire, and I always hate to try to do this because I butcher the French language, so I apologize to anyone who speaks French, but douleur neuropathique, something like that, not too shabby. Capture, uh, quatre, That's embarrassing. I took French all the way through high school. You should think I should <laughs> speak it often. Um, you take a look at the DN4 as another neuropathic pain screening questionnaire. This is one that you can either administer as a clinician, or you can have the patient sort of uh, choose their yes no's again on there. A score of four or greater, everything they score a yes is a one, a score of four or greater suggests pain from an neuropathic origin. So you could use this as well. I, I don't I prefer, I, I favor the yes lands, but it gives you the same kind of information. And then I think over one more page is the pain detect. Now the pain detect of all of these is probably the most involved scale, but this may be one that you decide to use because it gives you a lot of information on just a single scale. You can see there there's uh, questions around um, the intensity of the experience, the, uh, the temporality of the experience, right, which is the one where it's sort of, do you have constant pain, do you have constant pain with sort of little pain attacks, do you have fluctuating pain, um, so you can, you can get that in there. There's a body diagram on there if you want to use that. Notice that it's only front and back, but at least it's better than nothing. And then there's the qualitative scores as well underneath. Okay. And uh, if you look on the, the page over there, it gives you the scoring criteria for how to score each of those uh, responses. And a score of 19 or greater is strongly indicative of pop. So these three all give you the same information. You don't need to use all three. I gave them all three to you. They're all freely available. Incidentally, every tool I'm giving you here is freely available. These are not copyrighted tools. Um, you're welcome to choose one of these. You may decide that the pain detect gives you all the information you need in a single scale, so I'll just use that. I prefer to be, my preference is to use multiple tools that each tap a single domain rather than one tool that has many domains, but you can, you can choose that yourself. And uh, go ahead and you can try and apply some of these. <coughs> 